Here we're given f prime of x, or the first derivative function. We're asked to determine if the graph of f of x at x equals one is increasing or decreasing, as well as whether it's concave up or concave down. We can determine if the function is increasing or decreasing by the sign of the first derivative, and we can determine if the function is concave up or down by the sign of the second derivative. So for a quick review, if the first derivative is positive, the function is increasing. If the first derivative is negative, the function is decreasing. And if the second derivative is positive, the function is concave up. And if the second derivative is negative, the function is concave down. We'll notice here we're given the first derivative, so if we evaluate the derivative function at x equals one, we can determine if the function is increasing or decreasing at this value. So f prime of one would be equal to negative three times the quantity one plus one times the quantity one minus two, which would be equal to negative three times two times negative one, which equals positive six, which is greater than zero, which means that x equals one, the function f of x is increasing. And now to determine whether the function is concave up or concave down at x equals one, we do have to find the second derivative. Well, we're given the first derivative, f prime of x is equal to negative three times the quantity x plus one times the quantity x minus two. So we could find the second derivative by applying the product rule. But let's go ahead and multiply this out and then find the second derivative. So here we'd have negative three times, multiplying this out we'd have x squared and then minus two x plus one x, that's minus x and then minus two. We'll go ahead and distribute, so we have negative three x squared plus three x plus six. So this is the first derivative. So the second derivative would be the derivative of the first derivative, which would be negative six x plus three. So now we'll evaluate our second derivative at x equals one to determine whether the function is concave up or concave down at x equals one. So f double prime of one is equal to negative six times one plus three, which is equal to negative three, which is less than zero, which means that x equals one, the function is concave down. So the function is increasing and concave down at x equals one, which means our answer is b. Let's also look at this graphically. In blue we have the graph of our derivative function, and in red we have the graph of our second derivative function. Again, where the first derivative is positive, the function is increasing. So notice how our function f of x would be increasing on the interval from negative one to positive two. The function f of x would be decreasing on the interval from negative infinity to negative one, this interval here, and also decreasing on the interval from two to infinity. One thing we should notice here is that the function changes from decreasing to increasing at x equals negative one, and therefore would have a relative minimum at that location. And then at x equals two, the function changes from increasing to decreasing, so we'd have a relative maximum at x equals two. And now looking at our second derivative function, notice how the second derivative is positive on the interval from negative infinity to positive one half, which means on this interval the function would be concave up. And then on the interval from one half to positive infinity here, the second derivative is negative, and therefore the function would be concave down on this interval. Notice how the function changes concavity at x equals negative one half, and therefore x equals one half, we'd have a point of inflection. And finally, to verify our answer on the previous slide, we were describing our function f of x at x equals one. At x equals one, notice how the first derivative graphed here in blue is positive, and that's why f of x is increasing. At x equals one, the second derivative is negative here, and that's why at x equals one, our function is concave down. So just keep in mind these descriptions here are describing f of x based upon the function values of f prime of x graphed here in blue and f double prime of x graphed here in red. 
I hope you found this helpful.